Because I think where God said, listen, you, you don't have a source problem. The source is there. The light is there. It is present. But, but, but you have an igniter problem. You, 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 you need to get the source to the igniter switch. Now, who is that igniter switch? Who, who is that, that, that vessel? You see, a flashlight shines because it has batteries. It has a source of power. But it's also contained in the vessel of a flashlight, correct? You see, light, when it comes into the darkness, was always contained in a vessel. So we see the light of the sun. The sun comes up, but it's contained in the sun. We see, we see light of stars, but it's contained in the stars. It glows out of that, but it was always contained in a vessel. There, there has to be a vessel that the light projects from. There has to be something. And so even before creation, the light was believed to be projected from God himself. So the light is always projected from something. They didn't have flashlights back then. Today we look at light and we light up these massive flashlights. They had candles. They had wicks. But the, the, the vessel was the actual candle. Now, now, don't miss this. If you're sleeping right now, wake up because you need to hear this. The light is there. The light, the source is there. But there's a vessel that that light needs to get into. There's a, there's a vessel that God wants to respond and get into. Now, this is, this is so powerful. Matthew 5, 14, Jesus' words to all people, short people, tall people, Latinos, Hispanics, Dutch, white, black, it don't matter. It's all people. He says, you are the light of the world. You, you're the vessel. I want to get my light. I want to get my presence. I want to get my divine into you. I'm trying to project, project myself into you. He says, you are that light. You are that vessel. 